Hi guys, on another glorious day, Tuesday the 2nd of June. Um, I've left my blooming hat in the car, might go and get it in a minute. It was overcast this morning, very warm still, but overcast. Um, I'm just going to uh, show you what I'm doing today, so far. Apart from killing plants, I can see opposite me, which need a good water. They will come back. So here we go. Guys. Okay. So uh, this is the bed with the leaks that I did the other day, and you can see the plants that I was on about. They need a good watering. I thought I'd soak the tray because it's a it's a tray that holds water. Obviously, I didn't. So again, a bit limp. So I better stick a load of water in there. Not perk up then. Anyway, these are Bellotti, um dwarf beans. Um, let me just get the label. <sighs> see if I can pronounce this. Dwarf French beans, Bellotti di Virgin, Virgin, Virgin Vano Nano, or whatever that means. Um, as I said before, I prefer um, French beans, whatever, to runner beans. Although a lot of people like the runner beans, so uh, hence why these are the dwarf variety, Bellotti. Uh, I haven't grown bellotti for a long time. Um, do like them. I used to grow the bellotti because you can get climbing bellottis, the uh, you know. Uh, as well as dwarf, now these are the dwarf variety, uh, and so I'm going to put them in this bed um, as per Hugh Richards that uh, book I showed you the other day. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of rows, I think. I think I've got enough couple of rows. Um, some have germinated. I need to show you one that's germinated really weird. I've never seen this before. It's gone loop the loop. Bless it. I think it's got a bit confused. Um, I'm not too sure that that's the that's where it's come and it's gone downwards and then backwards. Does that mean I actually put it in the earth upside down? I don't know if I'm going to get anything out of that, but we'll see. Um, put it in some water anyway and see what we can do. But there you go, guys. Um, all I do is dip a hole um, with a little dipper. get my bean plant out and basically just drop him in and I can even do this one handed there you go guys I'll catch you later and there you go um, 24 I got in that's actually perfect that's how many I had uh, that were decent um, there's a two in the middle that actually works so good so there's seven trays, I think. Seven, four, is 28. So four, maybe five. Not so good, but that's all right. So they're all in. Um, you can actually pull them a bit deeper than, than that. That's the first leaves, but I tend to just, they were deep enough anyway, the root trains are crikey, I mean. These aren't the, is these the deepest or should, These aren't the deepest, but still a good four, six inch. Six inches are right, or maybe five inch. So there's plenty of root in there anyway, and they can get going. Um, I want to see how they get on today. Um, if they start to look in as though they're getting stressed burnt wise, I might put a bit of um, netting over the top to shade them a bit. Um, it is so hot, the sun's come out with a vengeance again. Um, but yes, those are done. So I'll work out what else I'm going to be putting in today, and I'll come back to you. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Please note, a disclaimer, we are social distancing. Bobby Parrot having a bath. Bobby time. There we are, he's off. Clean the armpits. That's 
acid. In the ass. <sighs> I'll just start a bucket of water all over it. Armpits, sweaty armpits. I can parents have sweaty armpits, that's what I would like to know. So you get rid of all his dry skin. Oh lovely. He's got dandruff. Anyway. Shall I do Jacko? No. Right enough. See you later. Bobby time, Bobby after bath time, it's tea time, he likes Star Trek. Yeah, oh and, and, and where's Daddy? Yeah, lockdown has completely sent us all loopy, but this is completely different to allotment. So, enough of this. And we will now go on back onto a lot. Hello, peoples. Wednesday, the 3rd of June. And hasn't the weather changed? We have rain. But the temperatures have dropped by 8 degrees. Um, but it's some rain that we could have done, really we needed, and we've got it for a few days now. In fact, we've got it through the next week or so. Uh, and so I'm just doing a quick, I haven't done a lot to be perfectly honest today because it's been wet, let the fitness get on with it. Just having a quick look at the old uh, runner beans. Uh, I've just noticed some of them have been et. The leaves have been et. I can only say those are going to be friggin' mesks, bloody pesky friggin' birds. I'm going to get some knitting out on those in a minute then. But the little seedlings that I've put extra seeds in are growing. So, I was just having a quick look and I've just noticed that. Yeah, they've nibbled around here. Oh. So it's this area here. Okay. I still haven't took the uh, growing tip out. We're okay. So we put some netting around there. But that's what it's looking like. Mount of Boo Boo, because I don't think that's a. Uh, I think that's a button that squishes over there. And I've got a few of the two down here were not button that squishes, they were in fact um, courgettes. But it doesn't matter, it'll still grow. Plenty of room to go. Uh, so there you go, guys. And collect some rain water as well, so that's a good thing. I've uh, strung some of the stuff up in the uh, Poly turn off, like uh, re strung some more of the tomato plants up. These haven't been strung up yet, I'll do them tomorrow. Uh, I've done the uh, cucumbers though. Uh, <coughs> the cucumbers down there have grown a bit, so I will need to attach it to the snakes. Same as the uh, Tomato plants there, and all the tomato plants out at the back down there. All need to stay, uh, actually attaching to the stakes now. Everything down here is the same. Um, yeah, that's probably collapsed because some pesky pigeons have sat on it. 
that's another job for me today. Um, not a problem, I'll do that now. But yeah, there you go guys. I'll catch you later.